Hey guys, welcome back to the game replay. I am Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Knack for the Sony PlayStation 4. Good stuff. Okay, man, let's continue. We're having a good old time in the uh, the forest here. Be on guard, Knack. These woods are full of dangerous creatures. Are you gonna come along or? Hmm. I wonder if this is gonna be the case, you know, like a human companion all the time. I don't know, we'll see. I'm also kind of wondering, I wonder how linear this game will be. Oh, can I, there you go. Maybe it'll open up at times. Will it always be a very uh, straightforward path? We'll see. Hey, bugs. Get out of my face, Brit. <laughs> Just kind of testing them out here. All right. So I don't think they're gonna put like random secrets, just like really randomly by itself. Uh, notice, notice how uh, I believe we opened the last one because uh, it was like next to these little yellow crystals. So you're swinging in the area, so you might swing into something inadvertently, kind of, and just open it up. I mean, you know, they know what they're doing. Man, those noises. Knack needs to beef up a little, Brit. Oh, I see. That's how it goes. That's how it works. Okay. That's how. Uh, that's how they come about. Gonna have to use some of our powers. Look, there's an old structure with some relics in it. I see. This is a world of relics. Okay, so they can self-destruct these beetle creatures. Interesting. An overkill. Nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, what's in here? Just a uh, replenisher, I see. Knack, those traps mean that there are goblins around. Watch your step. <laughs> oh man, pointy things. Hmm. Just trying to understand the trap though. I mean, what, you just get near it and the spikes come out? These animal monsters are a little funkier than those robots, you know what I'm saying? Too slow, dork! Just run through them real fast, I guess. Like those beetles. Yeah, I'm trying to deke them. There you go. Good stuff. So I uh, asked for it and I got it. I mean, so far we have like a different area, kind of a woodsy, little rocky terrain kind of place. Oh, <laughs> scared me. Multiple bashing. Sometimes I wish the dash deke move was a little quicker and covered a little more ground, perhaps. Ah, it's like mud. Interesting. We'll see uh, how the terrain affects things later. Oh, man. And perhaps it will. You know, the controls so far are pretty smooth. Sometimes when you try and do moves, it gets a little, I don't want to say clunky, but uh, eh, I don't know.
archers. Good stuff. Kinda wish we had like, I don't know, man, maybe a world map. There's definitely something behind here. Sometimes they kinda stick out to you. Eh. Dude, I don't like these birds. Ah! Oh. Buka! Hmm, my life. It's a little threatened right now. And what will happen? We haven't really totally lost, uh, you know, like a life. We haven't, you know, drained our life bar all the way down to empty. Oh! And it just happened. Let's see what happens. As I thought, checkpoints. And that's cool. Come on, I deked! I'm also interested in wondering how this checkpoint system will operate. Could it be like Little Big Planet style? Hmm. So what do you guys think of this first level? Oh, man. Punk! Yeah, what do you guys think of this first level? Is it pretty cool? Is it a doozy? Oh! Huh. In the future, I am kind of looking forward to like some crazier things happening. I really am. By the way, where did that dude go? Where is he? Seriously. Where is all the human companions? Eh, I don't even know. Nor really even care. I'm actually hoping for more, uh... Whoa! Hey, uh, what do we do with this? At least the boulder... At least the boulders don't curve. That wouldn't make sense. Not really. Yeah, that's how you deal with them. Uh, I was gonna say... I'm more interested in hearing more from Knack, man. I'm just kind of curious about this Knack dude, you know? I want personality. I want to see, uh, I don't know. What's, uh, what's this guy thinking about? Doctor, I found another entrance to the mine. Good job, Knack. Hold on, I'm almost there. No. <clears throat> You know, this guy's not exactly, well, he's not out of shape, but he's not very in shape either. You know, he's in the, he's in that middle category. They dug these tunnels a hundred years ago, looking for relics. They found a lot of them back in the day, but this mine is nearly completely tapped out now. Sometimes when you're performing one of your little knack moves, you know, some dude can hit you in the back and it takes like a millisecond to like kind of regain the controls for yourself before you can react, you know what I mean? Does that make sense to you? Hmm, Buka. Yeah, that stuff's fine and all, but I'm more interested in like the real secret item goody stuff. Yeah, that's an example right there, kinda. Hey, Grumpy! Whoa! Who are these goblin creatures? Generic, you know, are, are they really uh, something more, you know? Do they have leaders? Do they have a, an ultimate plan of, I don't know, conquering stuff? What are you looking at? What are you looking at, Bray? Something, I don't think so. Oh, more of this. Wonder if you can sneak up on these dudes like Batman Arkham Asylum style or something, eh? 
solid snake style. Now, so far, it doesn't seem to be the case. Every time you approach them, they kind of like just turn around and be like, Arr? What are you doing? For some reason, relics are always found in buildings like this. But is it even a building? There's no door. No one human ever lived there. Kind of an interesting world of mixed technologies and, you know, different types of creatures. That's always a fun way to do things, you know, uh, like a mixed bag. Uh, technology, but uh, primitive in other ways, you know, the world. The world that these characters live in. Anything else over here? What's, uh... Aha! There's gotta be a... Ah, oh, yeah, this is a good one. Good stuff. So we got a, a red thing. That can accumulate twice as much. Uh, the sunstone energy. Hey, man, that's... That's very nice. That's a lovely. Your collection. Okay. My buddy is uh, at it too. Double battery. All right. Yeah, you can kind of tell. I mean, sure, that could be overlooked, but... You can always kind of sense when there is something. Oh, there's there's a rumbling. What's going on? There's a rumbling. It's the goblin tanks. We got ahead of them somehow. Road's too old to take much more of that pounding. You guys don't talk much, do you? Oh. Don't have enough of my juice. Man. That didn't cut it. All right, here we go. Round two. It's okay. Buka. Third time's a charm, it seems. <laughs> I'm having flashbacks to me playing the, uh, the old Ninja Turtles games. Talking about NES, SNES, you know, the arcade one, that kind of stuff. And I was always such a big fan, or just a user of the uh, jump kick. Jump kick in the Turtle games was like, just the best. A must. A must to use. And in games like this, I usually use like a good kick. Has to be a good one. This one's okay. Good enough. Huh? I was waiting to get powered up enough to use my special, and then, yeah, it's all done. Is there any point in destroying these? Not really. I guess I kind of like being bigger knack. Bigger knack is better, I guess, because, well, I mean, look. See, now these once semi-formidable enemies are just like, all right, Buka, I'm just gonna step on you and run over you. Even the big ogre dudes. Now, of course, since we're bigger, I'm expecting to see even bigger, bigger enemies. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you can really just, you can just step on them. And that's fine, that works. We do not have time to waste. Can I just step on that stuff? It'd be nice, you know? It'd be nice not to have to punch those little yellow crystal things every time. What's this? Did I do it, or...? Hey! Uh-oh, it's, uh, it's a problem. It's a situation, maybe. That's for this? 
Ah, a control room. There's no relics left in that generator, though. Just a sec, Doc. I'll get the lights on for you. Let's go. So he can use his body as like a ways of energy, powering up certain stuff, but it depletes him. Yeah? Hmm. Why don't we wait a sec? Definitely a good special room here. Ah. Not too elaborate, like, Buka, there's the box. There's our part. All right. Two out of four, like the Harvester. You can summon uh, sunstones for defeating enemies, by the way. Yeah, there's nothing else with these rooms. But that's fine, they don't need to be crazy. I wonder if I've missed any. You always miss something, Brie. Die! Nah. I like it in video games when you, well, not necessarily attack uh, companion allies that accompany you that you don't control, but, you know, when you do kind of hit them, you move them a little bit, and they go like, uh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, stop that. Or they say, you know, a one-liner to you. Whoa, what is this guy? They say something to you, and it's, uh, you know, I always think that's kind of funny when they do that. I'm kind of thinking of Transformers uh, War for Cybertron. The, uh... Multiplayer, or just just the campaign mode, really. That's fun. All right. Love my Warp Cybertron walkthroughs. You remember how it goes. Those are two-hit killers. Excellent. Oh, by the way, we're not in the forest anymore. We're underground in caves. Ah, now this is more like it. <laughs> Do you know that I found you in a cave just like this? You see that pedestal? You find one of these caves. Like as not, there's a pedestal in it with nothing on top. <laughs> but once, oh, this was about 20 years ago now. I found a cave that was... different. It is said that these places were once alive, that the relics flocked like birds within them, but no one in generations had ever seen it so. Until then, on the pedestal was a glowing orb, and around it spun a constellation of gold and red and blue. I held out my hand, and I don't know why, and the orb came to me. It took many years to unlock the secret of the orb and strengthen its power a hundredfold. But at last, I solved the puzzle. <laughs> and the result was you. Hey, let's go take a closer look, huh? Don't talk to him like he's your dog. I don't know, at first it was like, oh, well, Mac, you're so special and I'm so happy. And then it was like, hey, let's go, boy. You wanna go for a ride in the car? Uh, I don't know. We'll see how this progresses. And I'm hoping there's a lot of character, structure, and growth. I don't know, we'll see how it goes, folks. But right now, I am gonna call it a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Knack. I'll see you guys next time. I am out.